Persistent herbicides are chemical compounds that can remain active in the environment for an extended period, even after undergoing composting processes. When these herbicides are present in compost, they can cause damage to plants when the compost is used as a soil amendment. The persistence of herbicides in compost can vary depending on the specific chemical compound used and its chemical properties. Here are a few examples of persistent herbicides that have been known to pose challenges in composting. 1. Aminopyrolid. Aminopyrolid is a synthetic auxin herbicide commonly used to control broadleaf weeds. It can persist in compost and cause damage to sensitive plants, such as tomatoes, potatoes, beans, and other legumes. Aminopyrolid can be found in herbicide products like Milestone Trademark, Forefront Trademark, and others. 2. Clopyralid. Clopyralid is another synthetic auxin herbicide that can persist in compost. It is primarily used to control broadleaf weeds, especially in tough grass and pasture management. Clopyralid can affect plants such as tomatoes, potatoes, lettuce, peas, and beans. Herbicide products containing clopyralid include Transline Trademark, Stinger Trademark, and Confront Trademark. 3. Picloram. Picloram is a systemic herbicide used for controlling woody plants, broadleaf weeds, and invasive plants. It can persist in compost and cause harm to susceptible plants like tomatoes, potatoes, and beans. Picloram is an active ingredient in herbicide products like Tordon Trademark, Grazen Trademark, and Pathway Trademark. It's important to note that the persistence of these herbicides in compost can vary depending on factors such as composting conditions, temperature, microbial activity, and the specific concentration of the herbicide present. The residual levels of persistent herbicides can also vary, and it's challenging to provide precise guidelines on safe compost usage due to these variations. To ensure the safety of compost, it's recommended to be cautious when using yard waste or manure that may contain traces of persistent herbicides. If there are concerns about persistent herbicides in compost, it may be advisable to use alternative compost sources or perform a bioassay test to evaluate the potential for herbicide carryover before applying the compost to sensitive plants. Consulting with local agricultural extension services or experts in composting can provide additional guidance based on regional considerations.